Phil Lynch, uh, they did, and he laughs at them. Hello West Ham Network, it is Holly and today we are going to be taking a look at players whose contracts are creeping towards the end as well as the options that we've got available to extend and we're going to be asking you the big question, which players should we offer new contracts to? Now I'm going to be running through all of those with contracts coming to an end in 2024 and 2025 but as we know the closer you get to an end of a contract the more likely it becomes that we're going to lose that player. Now this is for a couple of reasons. First, if a contract is running down, it suggests that either the club or the player are not set on their future at West Ham. Plus, other clubs will come sniffing around with the opportunity to get a player on a free or for cheap when there's about a year left. There are, in fact, 13 players at West Ham that are coming towards the end of their contracts, a few of which are actually essential parts of our team, which is a little bit concerning. And there are also some that could have bright futures ahead of them. So let's run through each of them in a little bit more detail. Up first, we have got Aaron Cresswell. Now, there have been rumours of him wanting to leave, but it seems as though he will be staying for the time being. His contract is already extended as much as it can be, ending in June 2024. Another one we have is Fabianski. He's recently been dropped down to our second choice goalkeeper. As we know, it didn't go down particularly well with him. He is, however, a solid option. And the main reason for bringing Ariola into that number one spot is that Fabianski is moving towards the end of his career. Fabianski has, however, performs to an incredible standard. He's done a great job at West Ham. His contract runs out next summer with no option to extend any further than we already have. So it'll be interesting to see if he would be willing to agree an extension. Then we have got Mr. Ogbonna. So he is another that is only under contract until next June. This was a one-year contract that he signed after his previous deal expired. He's still doing a great job when he steps in to save us, but age is not on his side. However, could we come up with another deal that we have with, like we have with him um, <laughs> where we sign him for another year? It could potentially work for us. Obviously, long term, it's not the dream. Short term, he is a fantastic backup option and still continues to perform at a very high standard. Mikel Antonio is a name that has been linked with countless moves and we've looked to replace him quite a few times over the years. His contract comes to an end next summer. However, we do have the option of another year on top of this should we wish to extend. Up next, we have got another June 24 one. It is Soufal. His contract has already been extended to the max, running out in June. And this position is one where we definitely need to focus on in the upcoming transfer windows. It wasn't a priority, this transfer window, but we all know that it is coming. While he regularly starts for us, he is 31 years old. And there are definitely some question marks over his future at the club. Then we have got four nows. His contract runs out next summer. However, we can add another year on top of this. He's a player that I would be really sad to see leave, but I also don't know exactly how we use him to the extent that he probably deserves to be played. And obviously there have been rumours that he wants to leave, that he wants more game time. So it'd be interesting to see what happens there. If we can get a contract renewal done for him, that would be a fantastic piece of business as he brings brilliant squad depth. Um, and it shouldn't be a bad thing being a reserve player at West Ham, obviously, being a sub, if we can play them game time, we've got European football. There are opportunities to get these people into the games. I do, however, understand that most footballers will want to play every minute that they can. So it's a difficult conversation. But he seems to love West Ham and he's happy to take one for a team. Then Connor Coventry, his contract ends in June 2024, but there is the option of another year should we wish to activate it. But what do we think? Is he of the standard that we need or is he one of those that just might not work out at the club? Then we have another similar question. Ben Johnson's contract is another that comes to the end next summer. And there are also question marks around whether he is strong enough to play for the first team regularly. Then we have got young goalkeeper and England under 20 international Joseph Anang. His contract runs out in the summer of 2024 too. He is one that's been on the brink of making the first team. He's been promoted to the club's third choice goalkeeper and he's also been named in the match day squad for six conference league ties and seven Premier League matches. So we need to think about whether we're going to give him a renewal. And then Mabama is another that I would definitely be absolutely devastated to lose personally as he's showing incredible promise and he's now at the point where he 
he just needs the opportunity to show what he can do. We've seen glimpses of it when he's got that chance. So his contract comes to an end again in June 2024. But there is the option of a year's extension that can be activated. But given his goal scoring record, given how well he's performing, given his age, given his ability, it does look likely that other clubs are going to come looking around. And then it'll be a question of what we can offer him versus what others can. He seems happy at West Ham. So that could be one that hopefully we could get over the line sooner rather than later. So that it doesn't need to become a worry. And now moving on to the players whose contracts run out in June 2025. We have Danny Ings, who has struggled to fit into our system, and many are unsure whether he's the right type of striker to work at West Ham. We've discussed it time and time again. We need someone that can play as a bit of a lone striker at times, and he struggles with that. We don't give him the service, but could that be something that we look to improve on? Now we've got more players in build-up. We don't know. Um, but in summer 2025, there are two quite worrying ones. So first of all, Kurt Zuma, his contract comes to an end. He's currently performing incredibly for us, but he will also be 30 at this point where his contract does end. And as we know, he can be prone to an injury or two. He seems fine at the moment, but the question is, as age is on his side, could it become more difficult to keep him fit? And last but not least, and probably the one that I'm actually most scared of losing by a long way, we have Jared Bowen's contract coming to an end in 2025. He has become a pivotal part of our success in recent seasons. He will be 28 years old at this point, and we know that the likes of Liverpool have been eyeing him up. So tying him into a contract as soon as possible will be very important. Definitely don't want to see him go. Um, I think we're going to have to offer him a hell of a lot to actually keep him. Hopefully helped by the fact that he is now within the Dyer family and you wouldn't really get on the wrong side of Danny Dyer. The thought of telling Danny Dyer that you're leaving West Ham to go somewhere else, quite scary. So that's also another thing that we've got on our side. So... There we have it, your list of West Ham players that are coming towards the end of their contracts. I've popped up the list on the screen so you can see them all in one row. But let me know in the comments who you think we should renew, who you think we should let their contracts run down and any that you're not sure on, as well as the reasons behind this. I want to hear what your thoughts are. That is all from me for this afternoon. Make sure you give a comment. Like I said, tell us who you want to stay from this bunch and how soon we should get these over the line. Obviously, in my opinion, the sooner we can get these done, the better. You don't want to be getting anyone towards the end of the contract. And also for the club to approach them and say, we want you to be part of the future of the club. It shows intent and it will excite these players. So we want to um, yeah, make it an exciting place to stay. And it feels like we are actually working on that and it's getting a more exciting place to play. We've got European football. So even if you're not a first choice player, it's not currently the end of the world. Just a bit of a change in mentality where I think being a sub at West Ham previously meant you weren't really used. That might be able to change. Anyway, that is all from me for this afternoon. Whatever you're up to, have an amazing rest of your day and catch up with me later for your Hammers headlines. If you're new around here, give it a subscribe. And if you'd like this video, please, please, please give us a thumbs up so we know what you're enjoying. Have a great day. Come on, you irons.